maths behind famous monuments of the world. You must have seen the different monuments across the world. But do you know about the mathematical principles applied to the construction and architecture of those monuments? Hi everyone, I'm Yashika. Today I'm here to tell you about the relation of mathematics with architecture and also will tell you the hidden maths in one of the splendid temples in India. So let's begin. Maths and Architecture Every building you spend time in is a product of some mathematical principles applied to its design and construction. Geometry, Algebra and Trigonometry all play a very crucial role in architectural designs. Architects apply these math forms to plan their blueprints or initial sketch designs. And they also calculate the probability of issues the construction team could run into as they bring the design visions to life in three dimensions. Today, I am going to tell you about the Konart Sun Temple. Konark Sun Temple is a 13th century CE Sun Temple at Konark. It is attributed to King Narsimha Deva I of the Eastern Ganga dynasty about 1250 century. And do you know that it is also depicted on the reverse side of the Indian currency note of Rs 10. Architecture of Sun Temple Sun Temple of Konark is renowned throughout the world for its stone sculptures. The temple was designed in the shape of a huge chariot drawn by seven mighty spirited horses on twelve pairs of gorgeously decorated wheels at its base. The size of the wheel is 9 feet 9 inch in diameter and each one of them having 8 wider spokes and 8 thinner spokes. Maths behind the Konark Sun Temple The 7 horses represent the 7 days of the week, 12 pairs of wheels represent 12 months of the year. 24 wheels signifies 24 hours of a day and the 8 major spokes signify 3 hour period of a day. And do you know, we can also calculate the exact time by looking at the wheel or the sundial of the Konak temple and with the help of sun rays. The 8 major spokes divide 24 hours into 8 equal parts in the Konark sundial. And the time between 2 major spokes is 3 hours. The thinner spoke runs exactly in the middle of 2 major spokes. So the time between a major spoke and a minor spoke is 1.5 hours. The 30 beads between one wider spoke to the next thinner spoke in which each bead represents 3 minutes. So we can easily find out the time by looking at the sun rays. This was all about my project. Besides this, there are many more monuments which are amazing examples of architecture inspired by mathematics like the Great Pyramid of Giza, the Gherkin, London, Taj Mahal, Agra The Parthenon, Athens So we have learned that mathematical concepts play a crucial role in architectural designs. Thank you.